I think it, it's a, uh, a huge relief uh, to say you learn along the way, like after a while you are much more comfortable having these conversations. And I think something that is also important is keeping your code. Hi everyone and welcome to Macron Scaling Up Journey. This is episode 50, so that's why we are actually starting in a little bit more fun way. And my name is Matthias, aka Macron, and today I'm using a new microphone also. So I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go, Svea? Let me take over here from my side. Um, this is my setup, by the way. Don't mind the mess in the background. Welcome to Macro Scaling Up Journey. This is Matthias Gramborg, aka Matgron, and I'm Svea, and this is Macron Scaling Up Journey. So today's topic is about, I think, a very sensitive topic that uh, a lot of people don't really talk about, especially in Sweden, okay. I believe. Um, and it's uh, about dismissing people. So at some point, um, and out of all kinds of different reasons, um, I guess uh, people need to leave an organization and sometimes you have to have very hard conversations. And I would like to hear your opinion on that. And have you been in a situation where you had to let an employee go before? Yes, I, I, I must say it's a really, really important topic. And um, I um, I wish, uh, you know, when I started my entrepreneurial journey that I actually knew more about uh, this topic. Uh, but I also think it's, you know, it's actually this kind of um, topic that you also, in one way, you need to grow with it mm. along the way because actually you, you, you can't really just read a book about it. Yeah. So to, to, to grow this kind of wisdom, you need experience, you need life experience. And uh, to answer the question, yes, uh, I have. Uh, I have been in a, a lot of different uh, situations where I need to let people go. I think there is uh, three main uh, reasons uh, where you need uh, to let go of people. I, I think, uh, Number one, which is, um, I think, that the biggest reason, and that's the culture fit. Mm. Uh, I mean the most common reason, not the biggest reason. Yeah, mm. maybe maybe both uh, both way, ways works. Mm. Uh, so that's number one. Number two is maybe there was not a perfect uh, fit for the role. Mm. And then... Number three is, you know, there are maybe uh, there 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 have been moments uh, when the company is not uh, performing well enough. Uh, mm. Things happen, and maybe you need to let people go of that uh, yeah. reason. I think we we have just been through a <laughs> pandemic yeah. um, for a year now, so um, yeah, I think everyone can probably relate to that. Mm. I would like yes, to go that... um, to your first reason that you mentioned, where you said it's uh, the culture fit. Um, how do you realize that someone's not a good fit? Is it something you recognize quite quickly, or is it maybe some small things over time? Do you have some examples? I mean, again, uh, it probably depends what kind of culture you have. Mm -hmm. uh, here at Igo Moon, we have uh, like uh, 18 very clear traditions or value principles we live by mm. and um, so that's very clear here and uh, uh, but but I yeah I think that's an answer to the question basically mm. and I think that's the reason why you have uh, company values yeah to actually get everyone in the same direction uh, and to be very very clear what you believe in Okay, and, and what you're not believing. Yeah, and then uh, my uh, the second question I have is 
about the second thing you mentioned. I just want to go a bit into detail there. Um, when you said sometimes people are not a good fit for the role. It's a similar question to what I just asked. Like, how do you realize that? Um, or maybe you have been in a situation before where you saw after where someone is not a fit. Are there some, I don't know, it's hard to put in words, but are there some, some things that you see immediately and think, oh, okay, maybe that was the wrong decision here? Yeah, I think uh, like when you have uh, clear values, you also can uh, create boundary, boundaries, you know, clear boundaries. Uh, what what is uh, okay and not okay? So, um, but you know the three the three reasons we talked about in the beginning. I, I said the first one is probably like eighty percent the culture mm -hmm. fit, uh, and then I would say twenty percent is when there, you know, maybe the the role wasn't really a, a, a good fit, and um, and I think number three, I, it's not like. Uh, how should I say? It's not so. I mean, it it it's like another kind of uh, reason or or factor mm. uh, that you need to have this tough conversation because I, I want to talk a little bit more about that. Like, mm. the, because it it's a tough conversation to have yeah. actually letting someone go. Yeah. So, um, and I, I think. Um, Often there is a mutual and mutual understanding mm. uh, in the in the more sane cases. Yeah. So, and uh, I th let's start first. First thing first. Let's start here. Like how to handle it depends on where you are running your company. I think mm. there is a big difference in how. I need to solve it in Sweden versus how my entrepreneurial friends in US are dealing with the same issues. Yeah. Like in Sweden, there is super strict uh, legislation around employment, which puts all the right, uh, rights in favor of the employee. Mm. And as an employer mm. in Sweden, you have a very small window, like a try period during the first six months uh, to become 100% sure that this uh, is a perfect fit for us, yeah. This that this person is a, a, a the right person for the role. And, um, and I also think that, uh, that this legislation is always like a very hot, hot political potato, <laughs> you know, every, every election period. But I think that's another uh, another uh, topic. Let's mm. let's not talk about um, politics. Uh, poli <laughs> politics. <laughs> um, but but I, but it makes it very difficult mm. um, because you know many times manipulative people you know they get away with their shit mm, yeah <laughs> right mm. uh, and they often it, you know it takes time mm. before they uh, show their their true face yeah. you know la later in the relationship and i mean i, I think uh, we can all relate to that in our private you know in our personal in, in our personal relationships yeah so the sad thing is that often these people become a, and now I'm talking about the less sane cases, right? Mm -hmm. Because often these people become a huge challenge um, to manage because you are not dealing uh, with a sane person. I, I think they often lack self-awareness yeah. uh, and they are using things against you. So they will they will do a lot of different tricks. They will kind of like maybe ghost the conversation and they, and they will maybe, um, what do you say? Like, I think the English word is like, they will gaslight you. Yeah. And, uh, and, um, uh, like, you know, gaslighting is a form of manipulation where information is distorted or mm. what do you say? Like left out or where false information is, uh, presented with the int intention of actually making you that your own memories how things happened yeah. or you know the your own perception and, and and very often actually you know like i have often in 
you know, dealing with this kind of people, I have ended up questioning myself. Yeah, that happens, absolutely. Uh, right? Mm. And that, uh, remember that. I, I want to um, I want to elaborate a little bit more on that. So, but you know I'm not a psychologist, uh, but 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 you know I I I have read a lot of uh, how should I say I read a lot of information and and uh, and I and I have read enough uh, to uh, to understand how to deal with these people, and I also have experiences around it and. I mean, often these people, they, there is some, how should I say, disorder in place. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, but let, like, don't talk about politics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I will leave uh, the, uh, the doctor stuff <laughs> and the psychology <laughs> stuff to the far more educated people yeah. uh, that can do that. So, but the, the, there is super important what I just shared, uh, shared because when you when you're dealing with people that are in one way they are trying to kind of you are questioning them maybe on uh, behaviors and, and things they said mm. but they have a tendency to turn that around yeah. and that will always create a conflict with your own intuition does that does that make sense? You know, Absolutely, can you yeah. relate? Can you can you relate to a situation when you are, like, you are super sure on something, like this was not good. What happened? Mm. And then when you talk to that person, and and uh, you know, and after that conversation, you're like you are questioning yourself. Yeah. And. I think that's important to remember because now let's talk let's talk more about what I do in a practical way to deal with these cases the, yeah. you know the, these hard cases because I, I think there is um, the first one is always trust your own intuition you that that's it's so important and Number two is when you go into a conversation and with, with these people, uh, like, and I would say, it's even if we are, I would say I want to uh, rewind and mm -hmm. say this. What I'm sharing now, you can actually, you know, you can use for the. It's super important to use for the same cases mm -hmm. and even the. Uh, not the so not, same. Uh, <laughs> not so same case. That. So always trust your intuition. Mm. Always listen. Do what you can to understand the other person's like perspectives and you know what what are they? What kind of drivers do you have in front of you? Yeah. Uh, and don't over prepare stuff. I think it's also a, a, a very a very important lesson for me because like back in the day I, back in the days you know it was like I remember you know uh, like in my early 20s when I was uh, you know I, I, I was planning to maybe breaking up with a girlfriend or something and I kind of you know i wrote down <laughs> what to say <laughs> you know ah, okay. you know you know i was over preparing a mm. conversation mm. can you relate to that when you're trying to you know foreseen like what if they say that i'm gonna say i this. will say yeah, that. i'm prepared yeah 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 yeah. I, mm. yeah and the thing is the funny thing is that like it's never unfolding as you think when you are dealing with humans never. and relationships. Never. Exactly. <laughs> so this is super important. Don't over prepare stuff. Mm. You know, trust your intuition, listen, be there. You know, not in the future or what happened yesterday. You must be there in the room mm. with the person. And and then uh, so 
after the conversation, it's you need to document, document, and document. I, you know, I always send emails after conversations when I have uh, been giving someone feedback, mm-hmm. you know, important feedback. So I also have uh, it, I have in that also made sure I have communicating verbally and also uh, in writing. Yeah. And, um, and uh, I also have an, I have a, today I also very often like, I, I give them a, uh, a task like uh, to uh, get back uh, with the, uh, like, let's say a, maybe a list how they actually will improve themselves or something. Mm-hmm. So uh, in that in that case, you you are balancing the scale that uh, it's actually you know, you're delegating responsibility basically, like. Uh, in, to get them more involved so and so docu- also also sorry that I interrupt you there but I think it's also important to what he said earlier that you has have also some proof for yourself if there's a situation coming up in the future where you're doubting again what you said or what you've done I think that's very good to have that and go back and say okay this is what we talked about this is what we agreed on I'm not going crazy here you know <laughs> thank you I mean <laughs> spot on mm. Th- thanks for for uh, uh, sharing that uh, Svea because that's very important and this is so important also for yourself uh, in in uh, the in the more hard cases and yeah. uh, and I also think uh, like number five there is probably um, my advice that has made a huge difference for me my advice my advice here <laughs> that has been very important for me is always having someone that i trust that i can you know be uh, advising uh, with uh, on the side because um, in that way you get I, basically i mean you you keep yourself uh, uh, sane yeah. also so um, and would that so, I be, mean, would that be someone um, within the company or outside, or who would that person be? Uh, so um, I would say uh, it must be a person outside the company. Okay, so someone more objective, probably. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so you you need uh, you need uh, someone. That is not how should I say, you know that kind of person that is not telling you what you want to hear. Okay, <laughs> that friend. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, but it, it also must be a, a person I think uh, that is a good listener. Yeah. But that, I think that's another topic. Yeah. Uh, picking your uh, uh, your uh, mastermind. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, mentor or something like that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, but but I mean, this is super hard. I, I for I would say it's uh, you know uh, working on these things is when you actually realize how uh, how alone uh, or lonely how lonely this sport. Uh, as an entrepreneur it actually is yeah. so uh, does it get better in time I mean especially the cases where it's more sane cases and uh, where maybe someone is not a good fit for the role and it's just not working out these things I think I personally probably be a bit uh, more worried about these conversations does that get a bit easier after a while when you had some practice or is it still as hard as in the beginning I think it, it's a um a huge relief uh, to say um, you learn along the way and um, like after a while you are much more how should I say comfortable Mm. having these conversations so and I think something that is also important um, is keeping your cool Mm. So uh, I, I, that's super important. So you mean keep calm, don't uh, yeah. 
get in a fight or what i mean that's kind of obvious but i think that can happen like uh, i mean of course yeah. it, it can happen <laughs> I, I i think like um and i mean if you're not having a good day and you know we can bring up the list like not enough food sleep <laughs> um, not a good, enough food, sleep, the circumstances, of course. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you're still a human. You can, uh, you can always, uh, you know, uh, ask for forgiveness if you say something yeah. uh, that was not uh, on point or yeah. may maybe outside the topic. Or uh, so you can, as a leader, you can always. Uh, I mean. I, I think that's another topic yeah. also <laughs> but, but I, I just want to say that uh, if we, we I said it was five the, the five um, listen don't over prepare stuff mm. document always uh, trust your own intuition and uh, have someone uh, you trust that you can advise with to be advising with um, yeah. and then keep keep your code yeah cool. yeah thank you for giving <laughs> I, us the, the list again in a short form because i think that's that's our takeaway here these are some five six however many uh, steps remember in these complicated uh, and difficult situations yeah it is and um, so the, the list i think is very practical and uh you can use it for both the same cases and not the <laughs> same cases. Yeah. And um, and also in your private life in some situations. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and and something that I thought uh, something I thought about uh, um, is actually you know the, the, where it gets tough. Um, you know, talking to. Um, you you know when you you when you don't have a, like a mutual and mutual understanding or the kind of same perspective, um, I think it's also hard with the hard cases. Like the if I the the hardest part for me has been, you know, to like even if I know I need to make it a decision for everyone's you know best yeah. at Igo Moon this kind of you know like uh, you know the people without self-awareness and um, and they, they will try to turn the other people against you yeah that's dangerous yeah so um, and I think uh, that's the like the, that's the toughest part uh, and uh, the it's, it's so important when you make changes in the organization that you also create the environment where you communicate what's going on but you also have the integrity to uh, I mean you because you there is like there is a difference being transparent and actually having integrity. Mm. Yeah, we had that in, the, in one of the first episodes. We talked about yeah. that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That was so, the thing uh, where you need to be able to say the same thing when the person is around you're talking about, right? Like, um, and don't sell yeah, so, something and being transparent. I remember that. Yeah. So yeah, so that's all. So that's I think uh, you must add that to the list. Mm. Um, okay. <laughs> because when you make changes, you must communicate, communicate, communicate. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh, so every because you know people. What I have learned, like you know, if you have people without self awareness, and you know you you make the decisions to. Um, to uh, like uh, let them go and you know they will maybe talk to other people they will maybe send emails to you know people after they have left where they you know try to feed them their story yeah like you know there was a time in my life as an entrepreneur you know I was kind of obsessing about that and try to control stuff 
Um, but I have also learned that, you know, people, they have a tremendous bullshit radar. <laughs> Hopefully. Yep, they have. You know, the, the people, there is sane people. They have a, 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 a their own bullshit radar. So mm -hmm. they can, they can, they have their own viewpoints, their own understanding. And so I, I'm, I have learned they, they will come up to a, probably a conclusion mm -hmm. that fits with them. So the, Matthias, you must understand one thing. You can't control everything. Yeah. And you know what? I'm just going to add one more thing before we wrap this up. But uh, I've just recently been in a personal situation like this, not business wise, but yeah. personally um, with a person, how we just described, you know, someone who was then trying to go behind your back, trying to contact your friends and just like make up things about you. And I was so worried yeah. about that at first. I thought, oh God. But then I thought, you know what? These are my friends. These people know me and whoever else she contacts, I don't know. I don't care about this. And I talked to my mother actually. And sometimes mothers have really good advices. And she said, what is this person going to do? Let it go. This person is after all um, going to lose interest when she sees there's no reaction you know like and like I said people see it's bullshit and they're not gonna react to this and and, if, and it worked I didn't react to anything and everything solved itself so I think it's also maybe something to keep in mind there like you said you cannot control everything but also if we if you do with these more not so sane people they will lose interest after a while and they, they will not go on talking behind your back about you or making up things they have nothing to win here but everything to lose i think that's our end for this episode just want to just spice it up with some personal <laughs> input here because it's like yeah, right on I, top uh, of my feelings right now <laughs> you know thanks for doing that i think uh, you know i'm talking about it uh, from an entrepreneurial like uh, perspective and and uh, we, we spoke about it before but i mean the the same principles they apply to your personal life and then uh, there yeah. is basically no difference. Still, I think the hardest part here is that you very often need to balance uh, like legislations and you know things that um, could be uh, making it a, a little bit more complicated. Yeah. So in one case, I think we we ended up talking about the more uh, <laughs> complicated cases on this topic and. Uh, and I, yeah, but it, it's an important topic. So um, if anyone is listening, uh, please leave a comment or mm -hmm. ask a question. Uh, it will really make our day. And uh, I think um, maybe your mother's wisdom is the <laughs> perfect wrap up. <laughs> yeah, you know, they have some life so, experience and they have dealt with some things. You know, our parents, grandparents, they know some things and sometimes very valuable to listen to them once in a while yeah <laughs> all right Matthias thank you for it this. really it really it really confirmed that you need a uh, you know an advisor yeah or, your uh... mastermind how you call it yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah in the back somewhere <laughs> all right thank you for talking so honest uh, about these topics and see you in the next episode see you in the next one thanks bye, bye.